carrying the boat through the jungle, folks. What we're doing, we're taking it over to where we're building the other uh, hulls because uh, I've actually drawn on the side the exact length and shape of the other boat. So now they can, if they need measurements, they don't have to walk all the way back here through the jungle to measure and then walk back and then they forget it or they think it's right and then they did forget and get it but they're guessing and then they screw it up so it's better to do this they've been drinking the guys in the front have been drinking so uh, it's a little tenderway and uh, royal orange royal orange drink that's their, one of their favorites yeah yeah so there we go and there it is now we have the model right here and I don't know if you guys saw this but I drew everything on this side you can see these are the stairs see that line going down over here 10 inches down over there like that and then that well actually that's the wrong one this is the right one this is the act actually down here 10 inches over here eight inches down six over ten and then down six to the bottom and then the cutout like this cutout right here will actually start actually about two inches up here and then cut out and then the propeller will come out there and then the propeller will be here not under the last step it'll be recessed in some right in here so that is what's going on and the boat will be the full width 24 inches all the way to the stairs and then the front here this is where the front is this is this is uh, where the 12 foot ends and goes up yeah uh -huh. I they want to take these off so anyway that's the basic rundown and now they're sizing it up on this boat so that the whole plan here was to get this boat here so it's so easy to copy and, and build so we will be back with more we boat through the jungle over to the building area bye for now this is the first cut on the new boat here yeah. these are these are actually for the this is the first saw cut they measured and lined up all of the cuts because this is a, a three or four cut boat i don't i guess in four cut yeah this is the front one here so this is the first cut that's what i call four cut they may call it three cut because they cut three here but the front one i count the front one too and then the second cut and the third cut and then the fourth cut going to the end well now they got power tools these people got power tools here folks they messing around <laughs> i thought they were going to cut it all by hand to tell you the truth i didn't know they were going to going to uh yeah i ask him are these wormholes okay oh. are they going to cut those out oh, oh okay yeah. Yeah. Okay. second cut third cut i mean there's the first cut second cut and third cut now they're gonna they're, now they're gonna cut the notches out for these uh for the plywood to go under the boat so anyway just want to show you the first saw cut being made that's kind of a I don't know what it is. Initiation. <laughs> so anyway, we will be back with more boat building from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. So this is how we, what they're doing because they're building two identical holes. They, they're so smart, which I didn't know they do this, but they're so smart that they actually are cutting both at the same time they nail them you know you know together and then draw all their measurements on one side and then they just cut and they cut for both boats for for both holes and right now they're planing to just get the the wood exactly the same height because the bottom is exactly right because we cut that nailed both boards so the top or the bottom whichever whatever that is they're they're planing to make those both exactly the same so they got a little hand planer that's about 20 years old i think i asked him how old it was that's the real old craftsman style uh big old block of wood hardwood 
Uh, it's all uh, hand chiseled and everything to make a uh, planer. And that's what they use for their boats, see, so. Anyway, we're gonna do all that, and we'll be back with more. Plane in the boat for, from my paradise on Battalion Island. Bye for now. This is the way you do it if you don't have a circular saw. They're, they're actually cutting an angle on this wood for, I think, for like the bow of the boat to curve up. So, yeah. So they use the machete, and they're amazingly <laughs> quick, almost as fast as the skill saw. But uh, you know, this is this is native. This is, this is just how they could do this whole thing by hand, and with a hand saw, and a machete, and a hammer, and a chisel. And that's about it. And they could build this whole boat here. I mean, all of these boats. They can. They do this stuff. Uh, even carpenters building buildings. They got a little handle hammer with a metal handle. And maybe a hacksaw to cut the rebar, and a shovel to mix it with, and a wood saw to cut the forms. And you're you're in business here. So anyway, we will be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island. Boat buildings happening today. Yes, right so now. After they chop it with you know the machete, they come back with the hand plane and plane it all smooth and nice and even. So it's all nice. And again, they're doing both Costco's at one time so they cut their labor basically in half so that's really smart so we'll be back with more hand planing on Battalion uh, from my paradise on Battalion Island it's gonna be a trimaran right for now they're now they're cutting all the ribs all the vertical ribs these little short one by one, one by ones they're making those for all the the ribs going from the bottom up the side you know, all the way up, up and down the boat. So we'll be back with more boat building from my paradise on Italian Island. Bye for now, everybody. Right now they're notching the sides, which is the bottom side for the three cuts, and they're notching that for the ribs, and then they put the ribs in there. They will come back and epoxy all this, and you know, frame it up and stuff, basically. But right now they're just notching the ribs and things you can see that here yeah perfect and, uh, uh, huh? yeah. Uh, yeah what's the drink honey yeah what's what's that drink oh okay oh that's good okay. Yeah, they got a coconut drink here that the daughter brought yeah, for them. So anyway, we're pressing on, building ribs for the boats, and we'll be back with more. Boat building, rib chiseling, from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. Everybody, if you ever wondered how they bent the wood so that it will... Uh, bow to the front I'm thinking they're going to do it right now but they got to, they got to kind of rig up their jig here so anyway what they do they loop this rope around and each one of them pulls loop and it got loose in here and a loose in there and each one pull and that pulls this end in and then they tie it off at the measurement that they want for the the point in the the, the boat this it's the bottom part that they're doing right now that bottom Thing. So anyway, we'll let them get finished rigging everything up and then we'll be back with more Bending the boat. Bye for now. I think we're going to pull that bow in now So everybody here's kind it together See that? Tightening that bow. This I think is going to be the center kind of like the center rib Although there's not really a center rib on the boat I'm not sure what they're doing there is a center core there on that boat that goes up, and that's the wood that's curved and goes up like that somehow. Yeah, so they're nailing it in now and tying it in. And the boat is going to go from, it's going to be 24 inches outside diameter, or out, outside dimension, all the way back to the stairs. It's not going to, at the back, it's not going to narrow. And the reason is because we got stairs. 
So there, so he's got that bent where where he wants it. And they just kind of got it, kind of get it uh, proportionally curved on both sides with some nails and stuff like that. And then they'll be done. So anyway, I'm going to let them do that kind of stuff. And we'll be back with more boat bending from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. Bathing the uh, wood in diesel fuel to uh, soften it, make it bend without cracking so much. Or cracking at all, <laughs> actually. But I wanted you guys to see this. Look at this rooster here. Check this guy out. He's like golden. If the sun was out, he'd really be like bright. He's really very golden color. Kind of interesting. He's really uh, and a big fat rooster too. He'd be. I don't know if roosters are as good on the grill as hens, but <laughs> he'd have some meat on him. So anyway, but these are fighting cocks uh, here, roosters. So uh, he's he's bred to fight. So. You mess with him and he'll he'll <laughs> come at you, man, with those little spikes on the back of their uh, spurs. They call them spikes, the little spurs, a little like a thumbnail that comes out the back of their uh, leg. Yeah, that's what they fight with. Here, you can see them right there, right there. See those spurs that come out? That's what they use for their, you know, their weapons. But what the Filipinos do, they strap little uh, uh, blades on their little um, like like. Uh, sharp rods and stuff that are three or four inches long and then they go after them with that each other that's how they kill each other there is with those and sometimes razor blades and stuff but you got to watch it when you go to pick up your rooster if he's the one that lived he can, he, he can spur you with one of the, your own uh, blades so anyway that is a rooster that uh, the golden rooster so we'll be back with more golden roosters and building a trimaran from my paradise on Battalion Island. Bye for now. Sorry for the shaking screen there, but you see the wood on this side has got the diesel on it. The wood on this side doesn't, and that's because this side's stiffer. And so they're trying to soften it up so it'll match the bend of this side here. So this side didn't get the diesel, and this side did because, like I said, they want to soften this up to get it to give a little more bow to match that so it's very you know symmetrical so it's amazing to me how precise they are with all the you know just hand building everything uh but they they really uh you, you know they expect the boat to be right so that's great great to hear so anyway they're uh, cutting some more plywood over there i got too far zoomed in they're splitting some plywood and they're, those are for the sides i think this section you can see if you I don't know if you have like a vertical line here well that's where the boat starts curving in towards the point over here and then it angles back and then it hits that line and then the side is just straight back to where it starts curving back towards the uh, bow of the boat or the the back of the boat uh, but my the outriggers are just going to continue straight back 20, 24 inches wide on the outside because I've got stairs back there like on a you know like sugar scoops on a catamaran so uh, my sights are just going to go straight back there I'm going to kind of point back there so anyway we will be back with more splitting plywood sheets bye for now